So they've got some uh, work to do before the race starts. So many people, you know, have tried to put a lap into words around here. We've got a special guest at the mountain this weekend, three-time NASCAR champion Daryl Waltrip is here. He's also doing, of course, commentary straight back to the US of A. He went for a ride with Jason Bright, and as you're about to see, he was not lost for words. And we're off and we're rolling. That is not possible. That is impossible. That can't be done. Just lost my lunch. I didn't even have any. This is a geological oddity. This right here is much crazy. This is crazy. What was that thing? This is the toughest thing I've ever done. Oh, God, we left the ground again. Oh, oh no. I'll give out. My arms are broken. I'm dying. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hang on, Jason. Can't even see where we're going, and he ain't slowing down. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no, the dipper. The old dipper. Oh, I'm dying. Jason, no, easy, Jason. Undamn believe it. Down in the dip, I blew it. This is going to hurt 200 miles a damn hour. Oh, crap. Oh, my gosh. I have never been on a ride like this in my life. That's good, buddy. Back or down. Quit playing around. I don't know how much grip they got, but it'll break your neck. I know that. It's hell corner. It's hell corner. Not hell corner. Not this part. I hate the court street. <laughs> You're kidding. This circuit's been called many things, but a geological oddity by DW. He's down there with Mark Larkham. i got to say, Matty, I've been coming in a long time, Daryl, and that is the most entertaining piece of television I've seen come out of this place. I, I, I was in shock. shock. Let's see, I, I talked to Jason. I thought he's a level guy, you know. He just seems like a, a solid mate, you know, somebody you can depend upon. And so I thought we were just going to go out and take a little cruise, you know, go up to Mountain Straight and look at some turns and some parks. There's parks up there and maybe a little look over the edge up at Skyline, you know, and what in the heck is an elbow doing in the race? But anyway, so when we took off Pitt Road, I knew I was in for, I knew I'd made a big mistake. Because when he put that helmet on, he turned into Superman. <laughs> I've got to ask you, Impressor, to put it in perspective, I mean, Daryl's to us a Peter Brock or Dick Johnson in their own country. And uh, as a racer, I'm really interested to hear your perspective of the V8 supercar. You've driven it all. You've won 84 NASCAR races, three titles. What do you think about our jiggers? I, I love these cars. I, I, uh, Marcus Ambrose came to America to race. And when I saw Marcus race on a uh, road course, I said, this dude is, he's one of the best, maybe the best I've ever seen in a stock car on a road course. I said, I, I'd like to see where he came from. I'd like to meet some of the guys he raced with. And so the opportunity to come here to Bathurst, which this race in the racing world, all over the, all over the world, this is one of the biggest races you'll ever go to. This racetrack, television doesn't do it justice. You don't see the elevation changes. You don't see how tight the turns are and how blind they are yeah. and how blindingly quick you come down the Conrad straightaway into the chase right here. I mean, this is an amazing racetrack. And you, the guys that do well here, there's one reason why they do well here. They respect this joint, and you better have that in your mind when you start to race. Well, you've actually told us, well, we've got some verbiage from you that we've never heard before. <laughs> you've told us stuff oh, about really? the track that we didn't know. Uh, well, let's just run through a couple oh, of sure. the key items, Daryl. I'd, uh -huh. I'd love to go through. Uh, this is a geological oddity. Well, it, it's just, I, of course, I'm in another part of the world, so geologically, I don't know where I am, but if I had to go around this track, I would say I was lost because okay. I, I had no idea where I was going or what I was doing. I hate the corkscrew. The corkscrew is dumb. Oh, my I mean, God. the corkscrew's in Laguna Seca in America. I, I, well, I know it is. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you call it the dipper, I call it the corkscrew. I always wondered, I've never been to Laguna Seca to do the corkscrews. I always wondered, wonder what that feels like. I now know it will scare the hell out of it. Well, no, no, no. That's another corner. That's over here. I forgot. Hell corner. Yeah, it's over and here. And my favorite. I just lost my lunch and didn't even have any. <laughs> well, again, I was I was so surprised. I walked around and, and I talked to Kim and Brad Jones. You know, they're buddies of mine from, they've been to America a few times. And I talked to them and I looked old Jason over and I said, solid lad. 
he ought to have a good head on his shoulders. And really and truly, I thought we were just going for a little ride. <laughs> Look, can I say it's a pleasure to have you here, and we want to swap notes after, because you can tell me what a dude is, and I'm going to tell you what a hoon is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> a hoon? I already know. <laughs> oh, it is fantastic. I, it was the day Talladega Nights came to Mount Panorama, was it? And the other thing was that he, he gave up calling Jason Jason, just started calling him Jake, just for the hell of it. <laughs> I reckon.